All right, we're gonna take a look at trends of the periodic table, but this time we're gonna look at ionization energy. So ionization energy is the amount of energy required to remove the outermost electron, just one of them, from an atom or an ion in a gaseous state. It works the opposite of atomic radius. So the trend is opposite that of atomic radius that we just saw earlier. So we take a look at our periodic table. We know our trend for atomic radius, and we can use that to better understand what we see for ionization energy. So if you go from left to right on the periodic table, ionization energy increases. And remember, this is where you really have to understand what ionization energy is in order to help us understand why this trend exists. So the energy that's required to remove one electron from the outermost shell. If you take a look at lithium, it might make a little bit sense why lithium has the lowest ionization energy in one in this particular period. See, lithium is part of our alkali metals. And alkali metals really want to lose that one electron that they have on their outermost shell, that one valence electron, they want to get rid of it. So it really doesn't take that much energy, that much extra energy to remove it, right? But as we move from left to right on that period, if we get to neon, Neon is super happy, it's super content with the electrons that it has in its outermost shell. So the amount of energy that you would require to remove one electron from the outermost shell of neon is going to be extremely high, right? So on the left side, we've got more metals that tend to want to lose electrons. By their nature, they want to form cations. However, once you move to the right, you get to more nonmetals that tend to want to gain electrons instead. So you need a lot more energy, a lot more energy input to want to, to have to remove that one electron from the outermost shell, okay? Now, going from top to bottom, what trend do we see in ionization energy? It's that ionization energy decreases, right? So you need less and less energy as you're going down a group. Why does this make sense? It kind of goes back to our atomic radius. So when we go down a group, the atomic radius is increasing, right? So that attraction that exists between the protons in the nucleus and the electrons in the very outermost shell, it's farther away, right? So there's less, there's less of a fight, if you will, right? There's less energy required to pull off that valence electron from potassium compared to lithium, right? Lithium, lithium's valence electron is much closer to the nucleus than potassium's one valence electron, right? So it's much easier, so less ionization energy is required for potassium than for lithium, okay? That's the trend for ionization energy.